Hey everybody, you know the Whiskey Off-Road Mountain Bike Race, it's coming up next weekend. It's Friday the 27th through Sunday the 29th. And there's a lot of professional riders coming into town and some local riders too, local professionals who are really looking forward to the race. And a couple weeks ago I had a chance to sit down with Chloe Woodruff, who's the founder and manager of her own team. It's the Stands Pivot Pro Team presented by Maxis. And just wanted to talk to Chloe um, about how the professionals really prepare for the race with food. And um, Chloe's mantra, she said, is really about um, eating slow food. And she says she tries to eat slow and ride fast. And meaning that she doesn't do a lot of processed food or added sugars. She does whole foods that take a little longer to digest. And so she has some sustained energy. And um, so the, the day of the race, her typical breakfast would be either oatmeal or something called overnight oats or bircher muesli, which is um, just oatmeal soaked with some yogurt and almond milk and uh, flavored with some tasty things like cinnamon and dates. So this is, this is Chloe's recipe for her overnight oats or, her, or the bircher muesli. So she starts with um, just some rolled oats and... Uh, usually about maybe three quarters of a cup or a cup. So for me, that's a couple of medium-sized handfuls of just rolled oats. And adds a little bit of sweetness and flavor with some, um, some ground cinnamon. So I'll just take a real big pinch of the ground cinnamon and throw it in there. And some sort of liquid you need a liquid to to soak into the oats so that by morning it's nice and and tender and soft it's like it's like a kind of like a porridge so this is um, some almond milk just unsweetened almond milk about the same amount of almond milk as oats so about three quarters of a cup and then also a little bit of yogurt to kind of pick up the protein a, a little bit this is just a quarter cup of plain yogurt and the, the brand of yogurt I really like is this one. It's called White Mountain. It's uh, organic. It's, um, it's really, it's, it's, it's fermented for a really long time. So it's got a lot of those really important uh, probiotics in it. So I really like this one. But any pro uh, plain yogurt that you like would work. So I've got oats and almond milk and plain yogurt and cinnamon. And then for a little crunch and some extra protein, some nuts. Uh, these are some toasted hazelnuts and walnuts. And uh, Chloe said on a, on a day where she's training, she might throw some extra nuts in, but on the race day, not quite as many. Um, so there's that not quite so dense and heavy pro, uh, fiber to slow things down a little too much. And also when she's training, she might add a grated apple and some raisins. But again, on, on race day, Maybe just, she might just stick with a banana that she would slice into the, the muesli the, the morning of the race. And you don't want to soak the banana overnight. And one other thing, for some added sweetener, again, she doesn't really like to use added sugars, but she'll use um, either some chopped dates, which is just add a really nice flavor as well as the sweetness, or uh, a date puree. So this is, um, just some dates that you soak, oh, maybe for an hour or so if they're, if they're pretty fresh, until they're soft. And, um, and then put it in a blender or a food processor with just enough water for it to turn into a you know, nice, get it to be a little pasty. And um, so I'll throw in a nice teaspoon, big teaspoon of this date paste as well. And these dates are, are, are really lovely. They're, they're called natural delights. They're local, they're from Arizona. And um, Natural De Delights is also one of the sponsors of Chloe's team. So you mix up your overnight oats and, and let it sit in the fridge. And then by morning, again, it's like this, it's just this really yummy, um, nourishing porridge that'll really provide a lot of sustained energy for that really long race, which uh, Chloe said takes about four hours. So, um, so hope to see you soon. Hope you see you at the race.